10th of October is the day recognized by the World Health Organization as World Mental Health Day. This year's theme was set as Mental Health for All. A series of events, both offline and online, were organized by groups and individuals on Saturday to raise awareness on various mental health issues. Now, among many posts and efforts was one pushed by Nigerian comedian Woli Arule. In a bid to reinforce the seriousness of mental health, Arule dressed up as the stereotypical mentally challenged person and took to the streets of Lagos to test Nigerians. He shared reactions on his Instagram page, and according to him, while some gave him money, he was chased away by some and nearly got physically assaulted by others. Now joining us on the conversation is the co-founder of Mentally Aware Nigeria, Dr. Wande Dikpeolu Dada. Hi, Dr. Wande. Hi, Elsie. Hi. Okay, so I know mental health is a big deal and it's something that your foundation has um, been at the forefront for the longest of time. Um, what do you think about um, the efforts by Arole to mm. portray this situation? Because we've seen misreactions. Some are happy and some feel that he did not portray his intention in the best way possible. So what do you think about it? Okay, for me, I think um, mental health is not just um, something that is abstract. And, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. And for um, what he did, well, it's weird. It's not weird. It's, um, it's wrong for the times that we're in. A lot of people in Nigeria already believe that when someone has a mental health issue, they are going to look this way. But unfortunately, what we've seen is 80% of the people with mental health issues don't even look like that. It's a process. Like for them to get to that stage, it takes so many years and so much time. And we're all walking around with our mental health issues and nobody knows, nobody sees, nobody um, understands until he's at this particular stage. And that's um, what he did was quite stereotypical. It's sort of... Um, it reinforced the stigma that, oh, for someone to have a mental health issue, the person has to look that way, which is not the case, which is not the case at all. Okay, so it's um, it's sort of um, 1980 hmm. or 1960 of him. I mean, he did, I mean, just, just to be devil's that advocate, advocate here, he Nigerians did... Still think of mental health and mental health issues as something, um, as something of... Um, more of the stereotype of and course i mean he i think he, i think his stuff. intention was to create that um instant uh reaction because it's harder to not be able to see i mean it's harder to understand it's harder to understand something you can't see which and I, he did make disclaimers but i think in the long run he, he yeah i agree with you to an extent that it was there, there is a level of of um stereotypical you know bias going on there but my question to you really is his um, feedback after he did what he did. I, personally speaking, I, like, I, I, I was more concerned about his intention and really wanted the mental health awareness to be in your face. And I think he did that for me personally, successfully. But I wanted to find out, I wanted, I wanted us to talk quickly about the experience he had when he said people either um, you know, feel pity for him and give him money, and then some chase him away, and then some um, we want to physically assault him. Now, I want to go back to um, the type of mental illness that doesn't, it's not as stereotypical as his, where they're not, you know, extremely crazy. And I wanted to find out your experience, especially as a medical practitioner. How, how do you, how, right now, how do you think the society interacts with people who have mental issues? Yes, some of them are not as obvious as this person, but we've seen people where we know there's just something off. Either they're very, very low all the time, or they're you know, bipolar, their, their emotions are all over the place, or their rationale is just completely different. It's sometimes when the situation is hard, it's easy to tell that somebody is struggling. But I wanted your take on what you thought the society currently has in terms of attitude towards responding to them, and if it's a good thing, if we need to improve, or if it's bad, and, you know, if it's good and we need to, we can do better, you know, what, 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 what's your thoughts on that? Okay, so I think um, the Nigerian society is getting better. Initially, when anyone hears someone has a mental health issue, the first thing they do is withdraw from the person, mm. possibly ostracize the person, and just stop all contact. 
with such people. But now I think we're becoming a bit more understanding okay. or we've started to make more excuses for people who we think act different right. or have um, something different right. from what we expect. So I think we're getting better. We're not there yet, obviously. Mm. Um, we still need to do more. We still need to be more empathetic towards people who have mental health issues. Just the same way we are empathetic towards people who have other chronic diseases, people who have yeah. sickle cell, people who, are, who have cancer. The same way we mm. treat them should be the yeah. same way we treat people with a mental health issue. Okay. So I think we're not there yet. We're getting right. better. Definitely. Right, right. We're you. getting better. Stuff, but we can do more. We can be more empathetic. We can I like show them more care. We can help them seek help for those who don't even know that they have issues or who don't even know where to get the help from. I like to call you by your full name, Ziye One Day Dikpeolu Dada. May God bless your soul because you have addressed everything that needs to be addressed. Because we see a lot of people that are dressed like me and you on the street daily and they have serious mental health issues. Now, I've lived with somebody that I felt was completely normal until I started seeing some reactions or some behaviors from me. And then at the end of the day, we realized that this guy was going through a lot. And like you said in the beginning, it takes years and levels, stages of development of mental health because before you get into the stage where um, Aroli displayed. Now, there was somebody else who did it during the Christmas period. We went to the mall. I can't remember for the life of me now. But he went to the mall, dressed like a homeless man, and he got reactions. That was more acceptable because different people have different challenges. Now, my question to you now, based off, off the back of this, is that what attention do you think that media organizations, professional companies, record labels, Anywhere you work, any sphere of life where you work should be given attention to, especially for their staff and people that they are committed to, for them to improve their mental health. Because you don't need to get to this level before you have a mental health issue. There are clinical depression. There are different levels of mental health. So what are the advice that you would give to independent companies? Okay, so um, there are lots of things companies can do. A lot of companies do not have... Basic um, health management organization services, that's they don't have HMOs. Mm. Some people do have, but their HMOs do not provide mental health services. So they can make sure they get HMOs that have um, a provision for that. That can say, oh, we have um, people can get to see a counselor maybe once a year or every six months. Mm. That's on the um, health for, um, for them getting HMOs. They can also make sure that their policies do not increase stress or make the working environment toxic enough for people to develop mental health issues where they're working. Because the thing is, different people have different risk factors that will predispose them mm. to having issues. Um, what her organization says that one in four people would have a mental health issue in their lifetime. So that means we all have that risk. And so organizations need to look at their policies, need to look at their working spaces to see, okay, are we creating a toxic environment that would predispose our workers to uh, mental health issues. How can we improve our working environment? Also talk with their HR. How do we address concerns of people that work with us? What do we do to make sure this um, organization is a safe space? That's two. Three, there should be in-house counselors in every, in every organization. You should have a counselor where someone who is going through a tough time at work can just walk in and say, oh, I just want to talk about what's going through and what's going on in my head. I just want to talk about what's going on with me. I just want to talk about the stress I'm going through. And this person can advise management as to how to further help um, these individuals at work. Also, giving people breaks. A lot of the time, people have mental stressors. Okay, a lot of us live in Lagos. People commute crazy hours to work every time. You can give people days off. Okay, you've come to work three times a week. Have two, time, um, have two days off. Oh, have two days off. Do this. Or, oh, this person, that we've noticed that your productivity has been a bit low. We've noticed that your moods have been a certain way. We're going to give you two mental health days this month. And let everybody know, oh, we have this policy that if you need time off or if you need to take take mental health days, the same way people take casual leave. Mm. Let them know, oh, okay, um, have this policy. You can have this. If you're going through a tough time at work, right. you can Thank have these you. days Thank to just so distress, much, to just um, 
take care of your mental health, just go to the hospital to see your therapist and make sure you, and, and companies can also reinforce telling their, their staff. Thank you so much, Doctor, for all that. There's a lot to do and we hope to carry on that conversation as well. She God really touched on it all. Time. It's time for a very quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have much more to discuss.